One of the surprises that the Hubble Space Telescope has given us over its decades of observation is that galaxies have not always simply existed as independent entities, one from another forming separately and remaining separate, that in fact galaxies typically merge with other galaxies during cosmic history. Now this is a little counterintuitive because we know the universe is expanding, so we would expect that galaxies are moving apart from each other, which they generally are, but what we know is that when galaxies are close enough to each other, their mutual gravitational pull can dominate and draw these galaxies together as one. We call that a merger. And Hubble revealed, for the first time in such detail, many of these cases where galaxies, particularly in the distant universe, were in the process of merging with a neighbor galaxy. These dramatic mergers are not unusual. In fact, we believe now, thanks to Hubble and subsequent observations, that all galaxies typically go through at least one merger in the process to becoming what they are today. So here's some examples of what Hubble has seen in terms of galaxies in the process of merging or in the aftermath of merging. So here you can see some examples of distorted shapes of galaxies. You can see here and here, none of these look like your typical beautiful spiral or even spherical or elliptical shape. They all have some irregularities to them, which are telltale signs that they are either currently merging with another galaxy or are right in the, the aftermath of merging with another galaxy. One of those telltale signs are long tails. So in some of these, you see these interesting long tail structures coming out from the galaxy itself. That's often an after effect or an impact of galaxies gravitationally interacting with each other and creating these long tail structures. Another telltale sign is that you can sometimes see two nuclei visible in the cores of some of these structures. That means that there's still two bright cores of the originally separate galaxies that haven't quite completed merging together. An irregular structure, as all of these have, is always a sign that something has disrupted the original, more symmetric structure of these galaxies, and it's typically the interaction with a neighboring galaxy during the process of merging. Mergers can take millions of years, so these are not quick processes, and in fact, sometimes they are very interesting little dances where the galaxies can come close to each other and then begin to rotate around one another before they eventually merge, or they can actually pass through one another and then be pulled back again and again before they eventually merge. So this can take a long time. So we now know that most galaxies have gone through mergers, and some galaxies are still on the path toward a future merger. We know that our own Milky Way has a whole little swarm of dwarf galaxies orbiting around that will eventually be swallowed into the Milky Way, but we have a more traditional merger in line with the Andromeda galaxy, our nearest neighbor, big spiral galaxy. It's on a head-on collision course with the Milky Way, Hubble has ascertained that this is going to happen probably in a few billion years, so we don't need to think about it too soon, but it is interesting that our universe is not finished. We're still in the dynamics of forming and growing galaxies even today.